Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2023 um, Ford Collins DH500. So this is a brand new series. Um, they originally were going to get Minnow Tours, but they ran out of Minnow Tour uh, chassis. So we ended up getting Collins, which we did get a few. As you can see, like a few of the, the, the Ford Fords uh, and the Minnow Tours, but nope so these are the brand new ones this this bus is being borrowed from crack um right now so it isn't ours unfortunately but i'll still make a video on it so my bus my old route bus when i went to school um it used to be 625 but she drives one of these now it's bus 34 so this is a, a series of a large collection of new collins buses replacing the uh, um uh the buses that they're using i don't even know what i'm saying these are replacing the buses these are replacing the old collins is like uh the 300 and 400 series uh, let's let's speak english today guys i i like watch my video replay and i'm like oh i can't even watch this all right so I'm trying to be a better at filming, but I'm like not good at it. All right, so let's start off with the cockpit. So it is a Ford chassis, so it's the same as the Minnow Tour that we've been on. However, the control panel is no longer up here. It is down here. So let's see what we got. I've actually never sat in one of these, so this is my first time. Um, there's no radio in here. Like there's no actual CB. I don't know if there will be a CB. I don't even know what this is. So if someone in the comments could tell me what this is, uh, I have no clue. All right, so let's, so look how much miles that was, 2,738. <laughs> All right, so let's get all the lights on. Um, uh, let's see here. So let's turn our, let's turn our, uh, so here's our amber light down there. Well, I don't know what that, those lights mean. I think this is like, step heat light um so let's see our m oh we can't see from there actually as you can very hard let's let's go out and look let's go out and look these buses are equipped with um the manual crank windows so these lights are different than the thomas Yeah, I don't think this bus has been started yet today. See that smoke? If you listen to that, that gasoline work workhorse gasoline engine. Now we have our Elmo going off. So it looks like they do have shorter seats. Um, these are sort of smaller. There's like two to one, 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 three. 
but I could just be going crazy. Um, yeah, um, I, I can't really tell. So I'll show you the inside of the bus real quick, real fast. Here's the full first student digit number. The new Elmo system. Looks like the old columns, it's pretty cool. Camera system. And that. My driver's bus actually has a radio and this one does not. So that's very interesting. job. Very sharp chassis. Definitely upgraded over the years. Um, let's see what buttons we got here. All right. So it looks like this is our master switch. Um, our warning lights, our red override turns it on our strobe light up top which is a great feature to have um, our dome lights driver's dome our step heat our dome lights our door open close our auxiliary fan and then our AC in the back So here's our exterior speaker, interior speaker. Not sure what it does. Sit down. So this is a speaker for the inside of the bus. Sit down. Which is interesting because it's a very small bus and if they can't hear the driver, then I don't know what the problem is. All right, let's do a child check. First, let's turn off our lights. Please conduct your child search now. Child checkmate is now deactivated. <laughs> hmm. Child checkmate is now activated. Weird. Please conduct your child search now. So maybe there's no charger mode for this one. Child checkmate is now deactivated. So, conclusion. These are very nice buses. I'm happy that we are, that we have these right now. Um, uh, they are a great addition to the fleet, and uh, hopefully we get more in the future. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.